When you're solving the least squares problem, a x hat will be in the col col a, in the column space of a. That's true. Yes. A x. Um, there is no there is no x that will give you the b, but so you're looking for a, something that's in the column space that's as close to a close to b as you can get. So yeah, your x hat a x hat will definitely be in the column space. When a system is what when when that's when we start looking for a least square solution inconsistent yeah all right and a transpose ax equals a transpose b this is how you find the least squares solution and what is that thing called the normal equation or normal equations All right, so just to summarize, today we're learning how to find the best approximate solution to an inconsistent linear system. So when you row reduce, you find the system is inconsistent. There is no x that can make all of your equations true. Um, instead, we're going to try to find the closest thing that will make all of them true. Okay, so you want to find the closest thing to a solution. So first, we're going to show that this thing is um, inconsistent, this, this equation ax equals b. So I'm just going to augment my a with 0, 1, 2 with my b, row reduce, and I get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, augmented with 0, 0, 1. What tells me that this is inconsistent? Yeah, that third row, if you translate that back to an equation, remember it says 0x1 plus 0x2 equals 1. This is impossible. Okay, so this is inconsistent. There is no x that you can use to make this equation true. So instead, I want to find the least squares solution. And x hat, give it a little hat to be like, it's not the real x, it's the closest thing we can find. Um, it's the x that will get us as close as possible to b, even though we can't get b itself. All right, so I'm going to use the normal equations to find this x hat. So the normal equations say a transpose a x, I'm going to call it x hat, that's what we're solving for, equals a transpose b. So A and B, we know a transpose, we can calculate just transposing stuff, and we're just going to be solving for the X. So first, I'm just going to write all this stuff down. So A transpose means take your each row of A and make it a column. So we're going to have 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. There's my A transpose. A was given 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. And x hat, that's a vector containing how many x's? Two. Yeah. If you go back up to where we tried to actually solve ax equals b, right, we have a, an x1 column and an x2 column. And that's it. So and 0x1 plus 0x2 equals 1. So there's just an x1 and an x2. Equals a transpose again, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, times b, which has three entries, 0, 1, 2. All right, I'm going to try to simplify all this before I start solving anything. I'm just going to multiply a transpose times a. And I'm going to multiply a transpose times b before I try to solve anything. So a transpose times a, I'm just going to work down into this space, and then I'll find another space for c. a transpose times a comes out to 3, 4, 4, 6. And a transpose times b 
comes out to the vector 3, 3. And you can just, you can, you might have to write out the work um, to do those multiplications, or you can have your calculator do it. Um, it's no big deal. I'm just not going to show all the work right now. So to solve this, what do I do? Augment and row reduce. So I'm just going to do 3, 4, 4, 6, augmented with 3, 3. Now this is a consistent equation. This should be, come out consistent. So this row reduces to 1, 0, 0, 1, 3, negative 1.5. This is my x hat, 3, negative 1.5. It gets me as close to b as I can get. So x hat. 3, negative 1.5. So A times X hat doesn't give me B because there's nothing I can multiply A by and get B. But A times X hat should get me really close to B. So let's see what happens when I multiply A times X hat. So A, 1, 1, 1. 2, 1, 1 times the x hat I just found. I get 0, 1 and a half, 1 and a half. What was B? 0, 1, 2. So this is like close to B, right? That's as close to B as I can get. 0, 1 and a half, 1 and a half. You could say this is approximately B, 0, 1, 2, right? as close as we can get by taking a linear combination of the columns of A. And then this 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, this is B hat, right? The thing that we've been finding in the past few classes, the point that's closest to B within a given space, in this case, the column space of A, we tend to call it B hat. And we could also write it as the projection of the vector B onto the column space of A. So if I want to write B as the sum of a vector in call A and a vector orthogonal to call A, well, that's B hat and Z, same thing we've been doing in the past few classes. So I could say B, which is 0, 1, 2. Just write out what I'm doing here. B hat plus Z. So B hat is 0, 1.5, 1.5, which means that Z has to be 0 negative 0.5 and 0.5. So this is the one in call A. And this one is in call A group. Do you guys know how I got this Z? To make them add together, yeah, exactly. And you can check that you did this right. Um, if you take the dot product of those two vectors I'm adding up, what, what should you get? Zero, because they're supposed to be one in call A and one in a space perpendicular to call A. All right, so my little summary of what we're doing. The linear, a linear combination of the columns of A cannot produce B, right? We showed that that was an inconsistent system. So linear combinations of the columns of A cannot produce B, but they can produce B hat, okay? They can produce B hat, and B hat is the closest thing to B that we can get um, 
it's in call A. So we solved that instead, and we got x hat, which was the 3, negative 1 and a half. So which of these things is the least square solution? x hat, b hat, z? When you're asked to find the least square solution, Nope. Nope. <laughs> X hat. <laughs> this thing is called the least squares solution. Right. The word solution to me is the thing that gives gives the hint of what which um, which of these vectors they're asking for. Because if they just said solve AX equals B, like the solution to AX equals B is an X. So if they ask for the least squares solution, it's the x, the x hat in this case. OK, so the definition of a least square solution is the x hat that makes b as close as possible, b hat as close as possible to b, right? Um, there we go. So a least square solution, x hat, is the vector that makes ax hat closest to b. So ax hat is just your b, your b hat. So this is just writ written in symbols. So I want to show for at least one vector that uh, it's closer, what we found, our x hat, which was... Three negative one and a half, right? I'm going to show that it's closer. Okay, so I'm going to compute b minus a x hat. This is called the least squares error. x hat is called the solution, and then a x hat is really b hat. Right? It's just another way of calculating b hat. So I want to do b minus b hat, and this is this is how far off I am. So the length of b minus b hat that is going to be the length of z which is 0 negative a half a half which is the square root of 0 plus a fourth plus a fourth which is 1 over square root of 2 which is approximately 0 0.707. All right, somebody give me any other x in Rn. Why did I say Rn? It should be um, R2. Pick any x in R2. 1, 0. OK, so I want to calculate my error using 1, 0 instead of in this case, I used x hat, which was, I keep forgetting what it was, 3, negative 1 and a half. Thank you. OK, so now I'm going to use a different x, some x other than x hat. Pick a random one. And I want to compute b minus ax. And it should be a larger distance than 0.707 no matter which one we picked. All right, so AX, got to calculate. One, 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 two, one, one, times one, zero. So that's going to be three by two, two by one. So it's going to be a three by one. So that's going to be one. 1, 1. Easy multiplication to do in your head. OK, then b minus ax hat. So that's 0, 1, 2, minus 1, 1, 1, and find the length of that. Negative 1, 0, 1. 
So that's going to be the square root of 1 plus 0 plus 1, which is the square root of 2. Anybody know that off the top of their head? <laughs> we just have to make sure that it's smaller than 0.707. I mean, bigger than 0.707. Yeah. 1.4. Yeah. Okay. So, is it true that b minus ax hat was smaller than b minus ax? Yes. And that would have happened no matter what x we chose because x hat is the least, will always give you the least error. Yeah. <laughs> There's another way to calculate x hat. You could start by calculating b hat, right, and then solving ax equals b hat. But that formulas that we have for calculating um, the orthogonal projection of a vector onto a space only work if you have an orthogonal basis for the space. So that means that um, in order to do that, the columns of A, which form a a basis for the column space of A, those columns would have to be orthogonal. So first we check, are they orthogonal? 1, 1, 1, dotted with 2, 1, 1. So I get 2 plus 1 plus 1, which is 4, which is not 0. So we're done here. Right? We can't do this the other way. But if we were, if they were orthogonal, you would compute the projection of B under the column space of A, something you know how to do from our previous class, and then solve AX equals B hat. And when you solve that, you'll come out with X hat. And you'll do one of these in your, in your activities. And I think, yeah, that's it.